Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just got back from shopping this morning and I went to uh, Walmart. I went to a few Dollar Trees. Didn't find much today, unfortunately. Um, I went to Bin 5 for a bit and I went to another indoor flea market. So let's just dive right on in. So first up, uh, Walmart. Uh, they had a couple of new items in there, five in there. Well, it looks like they raised the prices on Blu-rays again. So now they're seven fifty, not six ninety six anymore. But I upgraded one title of mine, and that is Booksmart. Uh, still haven't watched it, but I heard it's pretty good. So I'll definitely put that on the top of the list now. And then one DVD I found for three seventy four, and that is the. Uh, 2016 horror animal horror release of Uncaged. This is directed by Dick Moss. Uh, he did um, Amsterdam, I believe, and he also did The Lift. So I'm looking forward to this. I know it looks like it's it looks like CGI, of course, but it it could be good. Uh, I I like him as a director, so then we check that one out. Uh, I picked up two more things that were not physical media, so to speak. Well, they are related, though, of course. I found this cool Seinfeld um, uh, tote bag at Walmart for uh, $4.50, marked down from 7 so that was pretty cool. They had quite a few of those. And then I found another uh, Bart Simpson shirt for uh, $7.88. So that was cool. All right. Um, see, I went to Target, didn't get anything, but it looks like they're doing their buy two get one deal again. So if you guys are interested, go check it online. I know they have they have quite a few more titles online than they do in store. So give you a heads up for that. Um, so Bin Five, eh, they didn't have a lot today, but every every time you go on there, it's hit or miss. So. I found the DVD of uh, Hercules in New York with Arnold. Uh, this was uh, in a uh, open, like sealed, but look, you know it was used, so I had her open it for me. And the disc is, other than a few like fingerprints on here, the disc is pretty minty. So glad to get that. And then the big find was, um, so you can't really tell what this is if you just look at it, but yes, I found the one disc version of the Synapse release of Suspiria on Blu-ray. I have the two disc version in my collection, so I'll be putting this up for sale. I don't know how I'm going to do it though. This is a sticker and I'm not sure if I can get that off, but we'll see. I think I'll be able to get it off without uh, ripping the. Actually, actually no, this is the two disc version. That's cool. I I thought it was one disc. Sorry, it's loud. Yep, got it off. So yeah, the two disc uh, special edition. So I will be putting this up for sale. For sure. All right, um, so, all right, Dollar Tree, a lot of them just had the same stuff I've been seeing everywhere, but this, the one I went to was a, was a newer, um, location, which is stupid, because there's, it's, it's in an old Pier 1 Imports building, and they have one literally, like, across the street from it, so it's kind of weird, but anyway, uh, I picked up, um, I already told her, Katie, I picked you up, um, uh, Another copy of Minutes minutes for to pet, minutes Past Midnight for you, so I'll put that in your pile. Uh, I found this at another, uh, another location, but I passed on it, but this has got a good cast. Uh, this is the Merriam Collection of My Blueberry Nights with Nora Jones, Jude Law, Rachel Weisz, uh, Natalie Portman, and David Strath. I can't say his name. Strath, Stratheran, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, looked interesting, I figured I'd pick it up, great cast. This is a romantic drama, 
I don't think it's a comedy. Yeah, it's a romantic drama, but great cast. Um, I found a Blu-ray copy of The Reef with the voice talents of Freddie Prinze Jr., Evan Rachel Wood, Fran Drescher, John Reese Myatt Davies, Arlie Emery, Ermy, and Andy Dick, Rob Schneider. Figured I picked that up for a for dollar. Then I found an olive, another Olive Films release. Uh, this is in French from 1969. It is called The Brain. Or if you want to call it in French, it is Le Servu. I say it's yeah, Servu. I don't know if I'm saying it right or not, but uh, this is basically, it looks like a comedy. A uh, special train has been commissioned to convey secret NATO funds from Paris to Brussels. Criminals on both sides of the channel plan to hijack the train. On the French side, Arthur, a resourceful, small-time crook, and his pal, Anatole. Uh, on the English side, the... Oh, that's kind of weird. Miss... <laughs> so anyway, on the English side, it says the brain, but obviously it's brain. The brain... A brilliant uh, super criminal wanted all over the world. Uh, standing in their way is Scanapico, a gangster who wants the brain dead f for more than one reason. This is the original uncut, un undubbed French version of the film. The US version was 15 minutes shorter and was dubbed in English. So this is 115 minutes from 1969. I don't recognize any of the actors in here though. We got Jean Paul Belmondo, David Niv Niven, Eli Wallach, and uh, one, this guy's one name, Borvo. I don't know. Looks interesting. I like, I like my olive films, so I picked that up. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I went to one Blue Ridge uh, hospice thrift as well. Um, picked up six titles. Uh, not nothing outrageous, really, but maybe maybe the two at the end. Uh, I picked up um, "Over Her Dead Body" from two thousand seven. Uh, you got Paul Rudd, Jason Biggs, uh, Eva Longoria Parker, and Lake Bell. It's it's your it's a dark comedy, basically. Um, Eva Longoria's character uh, dies at her wedding. Uh, she gets killed by an ice sculpture. I, I don't know, whatever. Um, so then her fiance, Paul Rudd, gives up on romance until he falls for a beautiful psychic, played by Lake Bell, who's supposed to help be helping him move on. Uh, but uh, his ex, his ex uh, fiance is not having it, and now she's making it her heavenly duty to send their budding relationship six feet under. So, yeah, it sounds interesting. Uh, I found this weird horror film that I've never heard of, but it sounds interesting. Uh, it is called Roman. Uh, this is directed by Angela Bettis, and it stars Lucky McKee, uh, Kristen Bell, and Nectar Rose. It's kind of weird because you have Lucky McKee in here when in, you know, he directed May and a bunch of other films. And yeah, Angela Bettis from May directing this one. Uh, this is an anchor, or sorry, this is an Echo Bridge release from 2006. Uh, you also get James Duvall, Eddie Steeples, Mike McKee, Thomas Beaumont, Belmont, and uh, that's all it says on here as far as act the actors go. Um, it looks interesting, so I figured I'd check it out. It was a dollar. The disc was good. It was pretty minty, so um, I I think I've seen this one before. This is uh, a 2002 release called Cherish and a Snappa. Uh, 
Uh, this is a, actually this is a former rental from a video warehouse. We used to have a video warehouse around here. Actually, we used to have uh, two, I think. No, the one over here was a movie gallery. Uh, but the the uh, video warehouse that we used to go to all the time is now a Jimmy John's, which is, yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, this says uh, Robin Tunney, uh, Brad Hunt, Liz Fair, Jason Priestley, Nora Dunn, and Lindsey Krauss. Great cast. Don't, I don't remember seeing this or not, but it's got a soundtrack full of 70s and 80s music, so that's pretty cool. This is a dark comedy, so check that one out. Yes, I know people hate on this film, and I'm, I'm not, I know why, but I picked it up for a dollar. It is the first House of the Dead. Um, Clint Howard is in this. Uh, Jonathan Cherry, Ellie Cornell, Jurgen Prouchnow. I don't really recognize anyone else in here besides Clint Howard, but I'm sure he's only in here for a little while. But yeah, I know this does not compare to the arcade game that everyone used to play. I used to play all the time when I used to go to the movie theater. I'd play the hell out of that game. Yep. Uh, I picked up uh, a copy of Dogma for my brother. The disc isn't in the best shape, but it's it's better than I've seen other other ones, so... Uh, it's just the standard release, it's not the double disc release, which I, I was out at the, at the flea market today and I found the two disc version and some idiot wrote in, in marker, like right on the uh, slip cover so you can't get that out. So I said, you know, why? But the, I opened it up, first disc was a hockey puck, disc two was fine, but you know, no one wants that. So, I mean, he wanted this to combo out with his Blu-ray that I found him. So this was a dollar, so why not? And then I found the two-disc version of the uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force uh, colon movie film for the theaters for DVD. Yes, that is exactly what it says on the spine. Uh, yeah, so you get the full-length movie here, and then you get a bonus disc, which is the... Uh, it says a deleted movie plus special features. Uh, we get like uh, 10, 10 different fake endings. Uh, quite a few deleted scenes. Uh, four music video or music videos. Uh, promos. Pretty cool. There's all your special features on the back. Uh, I think that's it for no, no flea market, flea market, and then that would be it. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to make a nice stack here for you guys. I'll turn my Suspiria around. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing a really good stacking job here, guys. My apologies. All right, last last little bag here. I didn't get too much of this one. Um, I picked up five titles all together. So they were doing uh, this one uh, vendor was doing. Uh, uh, Blu-rays were three dollars or two for five unless they're Disney titles, which whatever So I found a copy of Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle uh, Yes, the digital code is inside As you can see, I don't think I don't know if it's still valid or not, but whatever uh, Couldn't really find a second title, but I picked up one that I could possibly sell later down the road because I already have this this version of the film it is the 1996 uh, version of the Phantom, still factory sealed, with Billy Zane, Treat Williams, Christy Swanson, Catherine Zeta Jones, James Ramar, and Patrick McGowan. 
I remember when this came out in 96, uh, it was, you know, they did so much marketing for this film. Uh, I have not seen the remake, though, from, I think it was 2009, I want to say. I don't remember when that came out, but, um, I found an A24 film I did not own, and that is Son of a Gun with Ewan McGregor. Uh, from 2014, 109 minutes, rated R. This is about Australia's most notorious criminal. He enlists a 19-year-old to accompany him and his crew on a gold heist that promises to deliver millions. However, as things start to go wrong, a deadly game of cat and mouse ensues. So, it looks pretty good. I enjoy A24 films. And then I found um, two Kino Lorber titles still sealed for $4 a piece. So the first one here is a double feature from Kino and Something Weird. We have Test Two Babies and Guilty Parents. It's a nice little rub there. Um, uh, Test Two Babies is from 1948 in black and white and then Guilty Parents is also black and white from 1934. They're both a little over an hour a piece. So. Uh, special features, you get audio commentary and a short film called Sex and Romance from 1951. It says it's a marital education short film, so interesting. So there's that. And then another Kino title here from 2019. It is called Those Who Deserve to Die. Can't really see it, so hard enough. Uh, two stories unfold in an idyllic southern town. A series of gruesome murders occur committed by a caped figure accompanied by a diabolic, diabolical young girl. At the same time an injured war veteran returns to attend college and becomes emotionally attached to a social worker, the daughter of a state supreme court justice. Oh, Lynn Lowry's in this. That's cool. As their relationship intensifies, connections between the victims and the veteran emerge, and Margaret realizes she may have the power to both rescue Jonathan and halt the rising tide of death. Sounds interesting. Uh, this is 90 Minutes, directed by Brett Wood. The only person I recognize is Lynn Lowry. You also get Joe Sykes, Rachel Frawley, Jonathan Schmidtes, and Alice Lewis plays the little girl, so interesting. You get deleted scenes, trailers, uh, a, uh, there's uh, a little like feature add-on here. You get a uh, short six minute uh, film on here called Security from 2007, and then you get a promo video. This is a region free disc, too. So, that is everything that I picked up today. Um, I was hoping I'd find more at Bin 5, but you know, it's always hit or miss. But I'm glad I found that Suspiria is still sealed, so I'll definitely give that put that up on my Macari and see if anyone wants to buy it so okay time to do the uh the elevator if, if you will my my homage to uh to joe so here we go okay guys so Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in later. Bye.